I think the ones that have attacked me are the SAS ants. Just completely fearless. Almost like kamikaze ants or a ramp or something. And they could live in here. Be very simple. It psychologically damaged me. It made me question the very fact that I was in Thailand. We've got a very rough plan to buy a couple of goats. So today I'm gonna just clear this whole area. There's so much bamboo we've got here and a lot of it is just dead. Our idea is to turn this old hay shed into a goat house, if that is at all possible, because actually it's structurally sound this. You know, there's about eight concrete posts that go into the ground. It's very, very stable. It's got a tin roof on it, which is good enough. There's a bit of a dodgy kind of extension to it, which has been made kind of crudely, but it's still okay. Um, so I was thinking that we could fix walls to this and it would be up off the ground. I don't know how realistic it is to try to turn this into a goat house. But we also plan to have chickens at some point. So if it wasn't really good enough for goats to live in, it would probably be good enough for chickens. So we'll see. But anyway, look, I'm getting ahead of myself. Stage one is to clear this whole area. The plan is to obviously have all this cleared, this whole area. There's a tree here that I want to keep, but all this in between can just go. But obviously this bamboo and this bamboo will stay. There's uh, probably 40 or 50 meters of this initial rice area it just isn't growing as well as the rest of it. And this end of the farm is slightly more elevated than the rest of the farm down that end. And you can see that with the level of water that's in this canal here. This end of the canal is, I'd say only 40% full. Whereas down the opposite end of the canal, probably 80% full. That slight elevation in land is causing the rice to to not grow as well down that end of the farm because obviously rice needs a lot of water so bamboo clearance let's get cracking with this job it's the ideal day for doing jobs like this because it's very cloudy and overcast but it's not actually raining it's a nice chilly 24 degrees which, believe me, in Thailand, that's that's a cool morning, that. So the plan with this whole area, even if nothing comes to pass with this shed, this, you know, maybe goat's house, <laughs> if, you know, that gets pushed back and back, or if it's a disaster or whatever, you know, if it bloody falls over when I put a hammer to it, I don't know. Either way, we will have chickens in this area, but I want the chickens to have access to this area of what is currently rice. What the hell's that? What's in there? Stone or something. So my idea was just to basically fix walls be very very simple to do and I'd completely do it myself I'd enjoy that and then we'd have like a bit of a walkway up here or a ramp or something and they could live in here and this part can just stay as it is this kind of extension bit We 
you've got this huge, huge bamboo tree here. But a lot of the bamboo there is just dead and very brittle. It's good for nothing. There might be one or two lengths that are okay, but most of it's no good. The green bamboo is still growing. It's very, very healthy. There's also things like this, you know, and this, and actually they are very hard. You could use them for things, but there's also the kind of stuff down here that's just very, very soft. I've just realized that a lot of this bamboo that's, that's built up in this pile on here, it's uh, left over from the floods last October. I should stop talking about the floods last October. <laughs> If you've not seen the video from, you know, 10 or 11 months ago, have a look at it. Because, you know, there's a point of reference there. If I ever mention all oh, those terrible floods of October 22, whatever it might be, because I know I harp on about the floods quite a lot. And I think it psychologically damaged me for a period of time. And the whole of last winter, even when the waters receded and the roads were repaired and we were kind of back to normal, it had affected me in a really negative way. To the point where I was quite miserable over the last kind of Christmas time, that couple of months there, and it didn't help that Anna was away. She was back in the UK working then. And um, I, I honestly put it down to what we went through with the floods. Now look, people had it so much worse than we did in various points in Thailand, but it was it was the first time in my life I'd ever experienced anything that was remotely like that. And uh, it was it was really horrible. It made me question the very fact that I was in Thailand and we'd made this move and we'd we'd made a permanent move, you know, we'd shipped all of our belongings over, our dog had come over with us and there's kind of no going back from that. <laughs> we never thought that this move might not work and we'd have to go back to the UK. That, that was never in either of our Oi. mindset when we moved out here. Um, but that period, October, November, December last year, I was thinking that. I, uh, I didn't come to the farm for maybe six weeks after the waters had gone down and even when the roads were repaired, I just didn't come here. I didn't want to see the damage that had been caused. I didn't want to be reminded of it. It was bad enough dealing with it in a rented house and you know all of our belongings. Um, but here, knowing that we'd invested so much money into the house build at that point, and I was full of regret. I, I kind of wished we'd never even come to Thailand at that point. And um, so I'm all right now. I've gotten over it, you know? It just took a while. Um, so yeah, look, I'll perhaps put a link to that video. I've not figured out how you do that yet on the screen, but if I've figured it out, the link will be just there. If I've not figured it out, the link will be in the descriptions to the video. What was I talking about now with the bloody flood? Oh yeah, that was it. All this bamboo that I'm shifting now, this I'm clearing this whole area. The majority of this bamboo is as a result of those floods. And like I said, the water was, was up to um, my chest here. And this is the elevated part of the land, down that end of the land where those other two ponds are in the corner. That was way over two meters high, the water level. The riverbank is four meters away from the entrance to our land. So that's how close the river was. And as a result of that kind of the surge of water from both directions, it was picking up all kinds of sort of debris on the way. Most of it was bamboo, you know, broken trees, uh, bits of shit, not shit, but rubbish, you know? And a lot of it was deposited in various points all over the place, but, but here we had an awful lot of it. And this is why this bamboo is kind of mushy and rotten. It's because it was just, um, you know, underwater for so many weeks, whatever. And so that was a very long winded explanation. Actually, by the time I edit this video down, maybe it won't be long winded. So that sentence will have to be cut out. <laughs> also, I can't use the touch screen buttons on my camera because I've got gloves on, so I've got to keep getting my thumb out. If you see me walking around doing stuff with my thumb out like this, 
It's not because I'm a cocky bastard. It's because I can easily then do this. Money, my dog, is absolutely in her element at this house. She's been sat guarding the house since I've been doing all this work. She's been there. She's not moved for two hours. Just been attacked by about a thousand ants, red ants. I accidentally ransacked their nest. I didn't see it. I've tried apologizing to them, but they're not having it. They've just tried to twat me, honestly. They're going crazy, I don't blame them. I'll show you what I've done. I'm sorry guys, it was a genuine mistake. I didn't mean to uh, to do that. I can only apologize. Let's hope you can put that back together and save your eggs. Okay? I'm genuinely sorry about that. The ants are everywhere. I think the ones that have attacked me are the SAS ants. Just completely fearless. Almost like kamikaze ants, you know? They just launch themselves at me. They know they're probably going to get swept to the death, but... You been guarding the house? Huh? You guarding the house? Hey? Should we go home? Hey? Should we go home and get a biscuit? Oh, stretch it up. Okay. Come on then.